Yo guys, it's Woody Run. Back with more Indie Horror. Um, as you can plainly see. <laughs> this is... Why is the TV broken? Uh, this is literally what, what you see when you load this up. Looks like I might have woken up. Uh, I'm on the bed now. It's this... It's just this image. <laughs> that, that I know everyone's seen. I'm afraid it's gonna be super loud. Uh, is there a sprint? There is not. There's a lot of static going on. This is really unnerving. Is that a dead end? I'm, I'm tired of looking at this face. <laughs> Hello? Ugh. Just freaking me out. <laughs> oh, it's a maze game, of course. Uh, dead end. It looks like there's these openings on the bottoms, like the left and right. Okay. You know, I looked at this at first and I was like, this isn't scary. And then... I don't know, I'm getting kind of freaked out. I mean, I can kind of see where the dead ends are. Wait, I hear a TV static. Slightly. I think I'm working my way to the TV. That is broken, apparently. Pajama Man? What if I just don't... What if I just don't? Well, might as well, right? Jump scare? Hey, man. Why is the TV broken? Answer? No. Okay. Hey, why doesn't this TV work? Did you hear me? He said, why doesn't this TV work? Hey, why does, why does this TV, TV work? work? Right click. Hey. No, left click. Why doesn't this TV work? I don't know, man. I wish I could have the power to speak like that. Why aren't you wearing a shirt? Alright, go to the dark area, I guess. I'm, I'm so... <laughs> I'm so on end for no reason. This is supposed to be like a joke. Like funny, haha. -ha. Look at this game. Isn't this dumb? Now it's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna be like, whoo and <laughs> destroy my eardrums and make me regret my decisions to play this. Hey, a door. Did I get lucky finding this? Did that face change? That one right there specifically? Okay, still has terrible static in my ears. Nice to find them in a different environment. Am I a child now? Hey, the uh, washing machine is on fire. I know, I know it's an oven, but it's a lot like a dishwasher or something. Hey, TV is broken. Why? <laughs> Why is there a your Hello? Why is there a urinal in our living room? Mom? Who let the bicycle in? Who let the mannequin dummies in? It's like if you press hard enough against something, you'll you'll get on top of it. Hang on, hang on. Try a little game breaking here. Oh, it's trying. Oh, it's trying. Ugh. A little too steep. I can get on the bike. For sure. Look at that. Like, if you fight hard enough, you'll get on top of it. If it's got the slightest slant to it. Yeah, like, this has no slant. It's straight up a wall. Hey, Why is there... Wait. I didn't realize there was a tree in our room, too. 
I think the urinal still the, still the weirdest thing though. Anything in here? Block. Uh. Manaman. Manan. Manan Quinn. Is that something? It's so dark I can't see. What is this? Books? I can get on top of them. Yeah. It looks like there's a door over there, but there is not. I swear. Okay, go down this hallway. I assume we gotta not touch this guy. So maybe I gotta be stealthy in some way? Maybe there's some kind of mechanic other than... Walking? Uh, fire. Fire doesn't hurt. Just in case. I'm not gonna touch the guy. He's got like a... Oh, he's got that face textured onto him, but it's not textured correctly. So they just slapped it on and didn't care what it looked like after. And then here's my spawn over here. Okay. I guess what I have to do is over here, right? I'm just gonna click. Click everywhere. That seems to be the only interaction I get. Click, 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 click. This looks like the same thing that was burning over on the other side over there. Is there any reason for me to come down here other than wasting time? No, super wasting time. Why is the TV broken? I need to go in here. This is like the last place I have to go. I could also just touch the map. Dang it. <sighs> I, sh I should have guessed. The bed was the reason I was here last time. Wait, is that a hand? That's a hand, like... Oh, you seen that meme where the hand is like... Like, grabbing the face? But it's like some really tiny face. And the face looks like it's smiling. But it's not scary, it's funny. It's kind of what that looks like. <laughs> what is that? What the heck? Uh, I really feel like I shouldn't be getting near it. What are they? What are drones? I don't own a drone. I've never seen a drone move like that. Aren't they called drones? Right? The little remote control helicopter planes that everyone has all the rage these days. Well, they were, I guess. Oh, hey, um, nice store you got here, man. I, I bet you get a lot of business here. He said have a look around, I think. He sounded like the squirrel from that really old, I think, Newgrounds cartoon. And like the goth girl and the squirrel, what was it? whatever that's called. You know what I'm talking about, right? Is this guy back? Oh, he just ran. I could barely hear him. It was so quiet. The other guy talked loud enough. This is so weird. This is so weird. I don't get it. I'm not really afraid of this face. Or that one. There are some creepypasta faces, you know, you know what I mean, that do kind of creep me out, but this isn't one of them. Okay, I'm in the teeth room. Oh, hey, the shirtless guy's here. Or mannequin. It's just so jarring. Oh, it's one of them circular Roombas. Okay. Can I touch the Roomba? Suck me up. Uh, wh wh what is this game?
most loud. And it closed. <laughs> oh, what was that? What was that? It's indie horror, I guess. I don't know what to say. What, what, what do I say about that, really? You saw it, right? You wouldn't be here with me at the end if you didn't see it, right? What is this? It's my chair. <laughs> well, what do I even say? What was that? Was that a game? Was that an experience? Was it an epiphany? I mean, the obvious thing to say is that 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 was nothing. But at the same time, it was so odd that I feel like it kind of helps it in a sense. It's hard to explain what I'm thinking, but like, obviously the walls are literally just the square textured image, just like tiled. So it's not a lot of work put in there. And those models probably weren't his. And one of those... Sorry, I shouldn't be doing it while I'm streaming. I'm not streaming while I'm making videos. Um, one of those was obviously just like a baseline mannequin that he like slapped that texture on, or they, not he. I don't, I don't want to assume. Um, yeah, they just like slapped that texture on, and then it didn't even look right, but they just left it there anyway. <laughs> but at the same time, it's so weird. It's kind of. In a sense, that's kind of what I'm looking for in these indie horror games. I don't know. I love when they're really odd and really weird. And they just make no sense. Oh, the end's like right here. I thought it was, thought it was a little farther out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just weirded out. Okay, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna link it in the description as usual. If you want to play it for yourself. Maybe I missed something. There was a lot of maze that I didn't go in. All I did was stick to the left, and I took left turns. I stuck to the left wall, pretty much. I think. That's what my intention was, anyway. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, leave me a like. Subscribe. If you want to see more. I play indie horror every single day. Or at least I upload an indie horror game every single day. I may have shorter uploads. But I think daily counteracts that. I have a little extra time, so I'm just talking, kind of telling you about my processes. I like to try to do 15 minutes if I can, but um, obviously if the game's too short, it's kind of hard to do that. But I try to make it 15. If it's extremely short, I'll probably do like a two-parter. I did 30 minutes daily on um, At Dead of Night, and that was tough. <laughs> that, that was a tougher one to manage. I started getting really behind, but uh, I did it, and I plan to keep doing it. So, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Tell me if I'm doing stuff wrong. I'm always, I'm always open to criticism. Especially constructive criticism. I just want to make my channel better for you guys. And me, you. I just want to make quality videos, you know? A little feedback would help with that is all. But thank you for watching. I've been rambling enough. See you guys later.